everybody and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Today we're going to be doing yet another video in my Wheel of Time television show casting predictions series. In today's video we'll be taking a look at what I believe to be the most important casting decision Rafe Judkins and the team over at Amazon Studios will have to make and that is the role of Bella. Before getting into the video let me throw up a spoiler warning. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of green, meaning there are going to be no major spoilers of any kind beyond just some basic information on Bella's character, so feel free to watch this video no matter where you are. So as with my other casting predictions, we'll be taking a look at some common requests to play the role of Bella. At the end of the video, I'll be giving you my opinion as to which candidate I think it will be, or whether or not I think it'll be somebody else. I'll give my opinion on the topic, and I am going to say that this is going to cause quite a bit of discussion, and my picks may be kind of controversial, so make sure to watch the video all the way through. I definitely want your opinion. The four criteria we're going to use to analyze the actors and actresses are as follows. Do they meet the physical description? Do they have the acting chops or skills necessary to pull off the part? Are they realistic for television? Are they affordable? And lastly, are they available currently to start filming in the fall of 2019 when the filming for the show begins? So let's go ahead and take a look at the physical and character descriptions for Bella. Bella is described as being a shaggy brown mare. That makes her very brown and has shaggy hair. She's an an extremely strong horse and quite powerful. If you'd like a more in-depth analysis of her character, please check out my other character analysis video on Bella. She is truly the most important character in the series when you really dive in deep. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top candidates to play Bella in the upcoming Wheel of Time television series. Hello, I'm Mr. Red. <laughs> A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. A. Our first candidate is the only actual horse on the list. Bamboo Harvester is a gelding horse best known for his role in the 1960s television show Mr. Ed. So does he meet the physical descriptions for Bella? Well, this one's tough. On one hand, he's a horse. But after that is where the problem starts. For one, he's a male horse and Bella is a female. While this could be remedied with CGI, will the show have a budget for that? Also, Bamboo Harvester is black and white and Bella is brown. Again, this could be remedied with either CGI or some practical effects. What about the acting chops? Well, Bamboo Harvester actually received universal acclaim for his role on Mr. Ed and certainly has a large range of acting ability. He could certainly pull off the part. Would he do television? This is a pretty clear yes. His main roles have all been in television, including his iconic performance in Mr. Ed. But is he available to film? Well, here's the main problem. Bamboo Harvester died in 1970. It isn't likely that medical and preservation technology will advance to the point that he can be reanimated by the fall when filming starts, so it's not likely that he's going to be available. What is the verdict on Bamboo Harvester? It's a no. Our next candidate is Will Arnett. What are we doing? What? All this running around. Gina, someone is trying to take me down. Take the show down. So what? You solve this little mystery, fix this little hole, and then everything will be fine? I'm doing this for you, Gina. You don't want that. For everything to be fine? How dreadfully boring. Will Arnett is a 48-year-old Canadian actor best known for his roles on Arrested Development, Blades of Glory, and most recently, Bojack Horseman. Does he meet the physical descriptions? Well, this one's tough because he doesn't look much like a horse. He really just doesn't have the nose for it, if we're honest. But I do believe that given enough time and skill with makeup, it's possible that he could pull it off. Does he have the acting chops? Most certainly. He has quite a bit of experience playing a horse due to his time on Bojack Horseman. He does have a very deep masculine voice, but Bella is quite a powerful character, and her voice could be interpreted as masculine as well if the showrunners decided to go in that direction. Would he do television? He absolutely would. He's done quite a bit of it in his time and is certainly still working in television. But therein lies the problem. Is he available? And the answer is most likely not. He's working on BoJack Horseman, and the show on Netflix is becoming increasingly popular. It is unlikely that he could devote the vast amount of time necessary to playing Bella. So what's the verdict on Will Arnett? Due to his busy schedule and the fact that he doesn't look much like a horse, he's a no. Our next candidate is Andy Serkis. Look! Look! See what sneaker friends? Well, 
<laughs> Andy Serkis is a 54-year-old British actor, director, and special effects artist best known for his motion capture work on famous movies such as the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Star Wars, where he played Supreme Leader Snoke, and most recently his live-action work in the Marvel movie Black Panther. Circus has won numerous Screen Actors Guild Awards, BAFTA, and Emmy Awards for his work. So does he meet the physical descriptions? Well, given that it would be motion capture, the physical descriptions here likely wouldn't matter as they'll be digitally added later. In regards to his acting ability, he is an absolute master of motion capture and creating believable characters out of CGI. He could absolutely pull off the part. Would he do television? Well, he hasn't done any motion capture work for television before, but this is a starring role in a series that Amazon will undoubtedly spend hundreds of millions of dollars on over time. He would more than likely take the role. Is he available? Yes. He just finished up SAS Red Notice, a film that's currently in post-production, and that should free him up to start on the Wheel of Time. So what's the verdict for Andy Serkis? He would be amazing for the role, and the only knock on him is that he's a male. I think he is very plausible. You're not the chosen brother, Eli. It was Paul who was chosen. As he, he found me and told me about your land, which is to fall. Why are you talking I about I did what Paul? your brother Don't couldn't. Don't say I this broke to me. you and I beat you. It was Paul who told me about you. He's the prophet. He's the smart one. He knew what was there and he found me. To take it out of the ground. You know what the funny thing is? Listen, listen, listen. I paid him $10,000 cash in hand. Just like that. Our last candidate is Daniel Day Lewis, a 61 year old British actor best known for his roles on Last of the Mohicans, Lincoln, Gangs of New York, There Will Be Blood and Phantom Thread. Daniel Day-Lewis has won multiple Oscars and is considered by many to be the greatest male actor alive. So does he meet the physical descriptions? Daniel Day-Lewis has made great physical transformations in the past to achieve the look for his character, and this would be no different. With enough makeup and wigs, he can easily pull off the look for a horse. Does he have the acting chops? Of course. There would be nobody better. His acting style is based around the idea of method acting, so he does quite a bit of research and immersion in his roles. If he were to take the role, he would likely spend a lot of time galloping, grazing in fields, and living among other horses. He would easily pull this off. Would he do television? Well, just as with Andy Serkis, Daniel Day-Lewis has done very little television in his career, but a role of this magnitude should be able to get him to take the role. Is he available? Well, his last movie was Phantom Thread, and it is said that he has retired from acting. But again, that was before anyone knew about this role opening up. Because of his retirement, he should be free to pursue the role. So what's the verdict on Daniel Day-Lewis? Well, he's an amazing actor, he's available, and this is a dream role. I think this is very, very plausible. So what do I think? Well, I think the main two choices here are Andy Serkis and Daniel Day-Lewis. I think I'm going to lean more towards Daniel Day-Lewis simply because of the acting ability that he brings to the table and the big name that will be needed to give the show a jump start. However, I do have one concern. Daniel Day-Lewis is only human, and even on all fours, he would make a very small horse. Not very viable to be ridden by other actors and actresses. The other problem is that he's male, and Bella is a female horse. The easiest solution and the route that I believe the showrunners will take is to actually have two actors play the role of Bella. Daniel Day-Lewis and an actress of equal ability. I believe that second actress will be Meryl Streep. Streep is 69 and has the same acting credentials and prestige that Daniel Day-Lewis does. And by using the formation you see on your screen right now, they would be able to make a larger animal and Meryl Streep can make Bella's noises to give it a female touch. <laughs> So that's what I believe is going to happen with the casting for Bella. But what do you all think? Do you agree with my pick? Please let me know in the comments below and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more casting videos as well as my other Wheel of Time content. Hey guys, until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do Mistress up above, slipping on the rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy us a free Crying Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me? 
tinker as the mistress Don't you got a labour man? Yes, but she replied He lacks your talent and your hands And I can tell you got the skill To hit the spots you see So tinker, oh dear tinker Won't you mend a pot for me?